I'd gotten off work late. I had worked a second shift and um, was going to go help a friend out and opted to leave that night after work instead of waiting till the next morning. Missed my exit and ended up falling asleep behind the wheel of my car. Um, went off went off the road, but I don't remember that, and ended up crashing into a cement interstate support, um, which I was in there for five days. I didn't realize at the time that my legs were pinned by the car. I kind of thought that because I was wearing pants that my pant legs had been caught on something, a piece of plastic or metal in the car, and that that was what was preventing me from getting out of the car. I guess Dr. Marsh and Dr. Liu, um, just being very friendly and very personable, being patient, and I remember them, you know, smiling and taking the time to um, explain things to me. And I just remember everyone being very friendly, and it was very comforting to just know that everyone, I guess, was working together and that I was in good hands. The experiences that I've had since then, like participating in, you know, Paralympic events and being a part of the Challenge Athletes Foundation and. Um, meeting other amputees and uh, yeah I don't believe I would have had that experience had I not become an amputee. I kind of started out um, shortly after my accident doing motivational speaking and talking to a variety of groups uh, you know of people and businesses um, but you know I guess most recently I've had more of an interest in going not necessarily back into speaking but just working with other amputees so for me it's it's been I feel like I can help them because I've come 10 years now and, you know, run and bike and swim and raise a four-year-old and uh, just kind of live life for what it is. Um, but just, you know, staying physically fit and just, I guess, participating in life every day. Not sure what I want to do in the future, but for right now, I'm very content, you know, raising our son and helping him to have um, a very fulfilling upbringing.